Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's October 18th, 2023. And we are off to Kai Tech. Uh, yesterday went amazing getting ready for the FAT, getting the shop cleaned up. It's looking really good. We are very excited. Uh, today is my sister's birthday. Happy birthday, Jen. I love you. I think you're amazing. Anyways, that's what's going on today. And back to the story. So it was January 7th, 2018. It was about midnight. So I am working away it's a Thursday just going through marketing stuff trying to figure out how to build our Sandler business and I'd been listening to this marketer named Russell Brunson who I learned have learned a ton from um, great marketer great trainer great businessman great salesman um, so I learned all this marketing stuff from Russell and it's about midnight and I'm looking through my emails and I saw an email for Funnel Hacking Live 2018, which was in March, two, three months away. So I saw this email and I got thinking about it and I decided, you know, if I'm serious about learning how to market, I need to get around people who are marketing. So that's when I decided to sign up for Funnel Hacking Live 2018. So I got my ticket and I got really excited, started getting ready and continued marketing and everything. So finally the event comes, Funnel Hacking Live, and we go and it is awesome. It's the first real conference so I've been to a couple conferences as, um, so like a couple Sandler conferences. I've been to a lot of Sandler conferences actually, uh, where all the Sandler franchisees get a, together and share bre best practices. But it's only people in the franchise in our world you miss a lot when you don't bring people outside your world because business is business whatever your business model you're still a business and you still have a ton of common systems and processes that need to be created and followed and all that fun stuff so there's a lot you can learn from everybody so this was the first conference I'd been to that was not a Sandler conference. And I had no idea events like this even existed. And shame on me for not looking into it sooner, but I fell in love. I thought it was amazing. The energy, the people there, everything going on. I just loved it. So I left. Uh, I went to this Funnel Hacking Live event, and then I, the last day was when Tony Robbins came on, and Tony Robbins came on for four or five hours, and it was amazing. It was, he was the best speaker I've ever seen, to this day, I would say. Uh, the way he trained, the way he helped us as an audience use our energy and get involved, it was amazing. So as soon as he his talk ended, I went and I actually bought tickets for me and Emily and my mom and dad to all go to Unleash the Power Within in uh, Chicago. And this was in July 2018. So we decided, we, 
I get these tickets to UPW Chicago. <clears throat> uh, go back to Boise, working on marketing, working on figuring out how to do this internet marketing stuff for our franchise, how to do it within their rules and without getting in trouble. <laughs> Didn't work, P.S. Um, so working on all of that, I finally July rolls around. And at this point, one of the things Russell Brunson, Brunson teaches is creating content regularly. You've got to find your voice. You've got to go out there and make videos and put yourself out there and figure out what, how you want to show up. And so this is, this whole journey has helped me realize the true power of a personal brand. A personal brand, I look at it like a sword, it's a weapon uh, for that person to wield however they see fit. And anyone in the world can build a personal brand and anyone can wield it. It's their choice. But you have to take action to do that. So like my personal brand, I am building around documenting my journey of figuring out America's holding company. So if people like the idea of what I'm trying to do, I invite them to follow my personal brand. If not, that's all right. There's plenty of people in the world. So your personal brand becomes this sword that you can wield. So up until now, I've been creating, I did daily videos for a long time at Sandler. Um, and up until UPW, I always, I love my dad. I looked up, look up to my dad. And I always thought I needed to be my dad to be successful. And so up until UPW, my videos, and if you watch the video like the day before we leave to UPW and the day I got back from UPW, it seems like two, maybe three years have passed between how I show up on that video. And that's one of my biggest takeaways from UPW is we are, we get to decide the energy we show up with. We get to decide who we are. We get to decide how we show up. And so I decided I am a power plant. I create my own energy. I am my own energy source. I, I don't drink coffee. I don't need any of that to be me. All I need to do is get up and I am me. So I made this decision at UPW to be an, an, a power plant. And it completely changed how I showed up as a person. And that's one of the things I've learned from Tony Robbins that I'll never let go of. Is that it is your choice how you show up each and every day. Minutes throughout the day. It is all your choice. So how are you going to show up? What are you going to look for? So it, UPW, I learned a ton, but that... So my biggest professional takeaway was that I'm my own power plan. My biggest personal takeaway though was that I was looking for significance from my dad more than from my wife. So throughout our relationship, I told out Emily, you're number one, you're number one. You're the most important person to me. At the same time though, I worked with my parents 40 hours plus a week. I was around them all the time. I saw my dad as my best friend and I was constantly looking for his approval, constantly. And so I found out uh, through this whole process 
that even though I would tell Emily she was the most important, my actions showed that she was not. And there was one time at UPW where I had this business aha moment and I rushed over to tell my dad and completely ignored Emily and it did not it was a great learning experience for me on how I've been prioritizing my parents over my wife so that was another critical lesson that I believe had I not learned that lesson uh, Emily and I would not be married today so I learned that lesson got to put that to work and I continued trying to build our sales training business so uh, September rolls around and I've learned about these things called a challenge funnel. And I decided, you know what? I want to create a challenge funnel for Sandler uh, to sell what we do to get people involved. I thought it'd be an awesome idea. I mean, I'm sure it still is an awesome idea. But I started that in September, started creating the materials, putting together my idea, creating the marketing, all this stuff. And I started posting about it on social media. And it was mid-October, so the challenge was supposed to start at the end of October. It was, actually, it wasn't even mid-October. It was probably like October 5th, 2018, that I uh, made a post on LinkedIn. And later that day, the Sandler corporate franchisor reached out and said they had sent a cease and desist letter and that we were not allowed to market that way and that this was against our franchisee regulations and that is completely within their right as an organization as the franchisor they write the rules and this is where I first started seeing the true value of time so they decide the rules, they write the rules, they decide how the rules are upheld, but it's my choice if I play by those rules. And that's when I decided, you know, I, I feel like I was meant for more than playing within someone else's sandbox, playing by their rules. We already have the government's rules, our state laws and regulations. There's already plenty of rules you have to follow without trying to follow some franchisees rules on top of all that. So this was my thought process at the time. And since then, I I actually have loved the idea of a franchise and franchise rules and how they all work together. And I'm looking forward to using them with America's Holding Company. But at the time, I felt like they were severely holding me back. And so that's when I decided to leave Sandler. So my last day at Sandler was November 16th, 2018. It was a Friday. Um, and basically I'd been working Sandler and with my parents since college. So it to be candid, my relationship with my parents has never been the same since I stopped working with them, which is really sad to me. I really miss having a relationship with my parents. But that's, that's another story. Uh, so November 16th was my last day at Sandler and between UPW in July of 2018 and me leaving Sandler 
I'd been getting uh, marketing from Tony Robbins about this event called Date with Destiny. Date with Destiny is a week-long, 100-plus hour event Tony Robbins does that teaches you about human psychology and how to live a fulfilled life. And so, talking with Emily, we made the decision that as we are starting out, right now is the time to build a foundation. So I should go to Date with Destiny. So I went to Date with Destiny, and it was phenomenal. I learned a ton. Uh, one of my biggest lessons learned was if you do not know the rules of the game you are playing, you can't win the game. So if you think about this, it, he was teaching us about happiness. What are your rules for being happy? And if you don't know what needs to happen for you to be happy, how will you ever be happy? So this whole thought process and system we're working through learning, and that's when I first started to pay attention to rules. What are the rules that society creates that we must live by? And there's rules in everything. There's rules personally for uh, what it takes for me to be sad or happy or mad or angry or whatever. There's also rules um, professionally what you can say at your company, what you can't say, who you can talk to, how you can talk to them, uh, all of these different rules. And then there's rules with the government, there's rules with the state, there's rules with uh, your wife, there's rules with your kids. So our daily lives are governed by rules. And that's when I started paying attention to my personal rules, like what so for me, what needs to happen for me to be happy is my feet need to hit the ground. That's it. I choose to be happy. I could also choose to be miserable. I could choose to be upset. I could choose to hate life. But I don't. I choose to be happy because it is my choice. And I would rather live a happy, fulfilled life than not. And so this is all part of, part of what I'm learning from Tony Robbins and Date with Destiny is how important it is to understand your roles. So as we're getting, as I'm getting ready for this event, uh, I decide what my first business is going to be. And Date with Destiny 2018 is where unboxing events was born and died. <laughs> um, so unboxing events was my idea. Uh, I believe live events change lives. You, you, digitally, you cannot recreate the energy. You cannot recreate the emotions. You cannot recreate the networking that happens at a live event. And so... Date with Destiny 2018, December 2018, was when I officially launched unboxing events and started trying to build that business. And so, wow, what a great story. I will have to fill you in on unboxing events tomorrow. So tomorrow we will start with unboxing events in 2018. So tune on in. With that said, guys, have a great day. We'll talk to y'all soon.